Hello, this is Sarah Krajewski, Associate Curator of the Henry Art Gallery, and I'm here with Bob Mandel, one of the 12 artists in the Image Transfer Exhibition. I became interested in Carl's work in the context of this exhibition because of his connection to photography and to other uh, modes of photo reproduction uh, that uh, culminate for him in drawn representations of those original images. Well, most of the work that I make is uh, are drawings, and usually they're installed in a sort of large, large manner. Um, but even though, uh, and there's different sort of components of my work, and two big themes are to sort of investigate drawing in a way that, like if you, like Gerhard Richter investigates painting by exploring the different sort of like what constitutes a painting, um, different types of painting, and to create a practice that is that that is about the medium, I guess itself. Not that I anywhere in Richter, but I when, when I I realized that every artist, almost everyone has a, has ways of drawing, and people make drawings all the time, whether it's a list or some doodle. So drawings around us all the time. Um, and so drawing is something that my work investigates and most of it is made in drawings, but I also had a lot of interest in photography and I started out as a photographer. I always, as a kid, I could always draw really well, but um, I, in high school, I started making a lot of pictures and in undergrad, all my art was photography. And I, I worked in a photo gallery and I was sort of exposed very much to the photo world. And, a lot of my friends, a lot of my friends in LA um, are in like, I, I remember in grad school, I was in this department that didn't have a home, it was sort of this interdisciplinary department. So um, most of the people in my department just like hung out in the library, but I was a maker. So I had to like caucus with one of the other groups in grad school and I hung out a lot with the photo people. And I worked in the photo lab, I was in the photo so even though I made stuff by hand, I stopped making photographs because it was a little too easy. Not that it was easy to make a great photograph, it was too quick. And I, always, I did like to spend a lot of time in the dark room, but I didn't like to spend so much time like in the field, um, like with the tripod and driving around with the view camera. I had a view camera, I mean I still use a view camera. But um, drawing became a way for me to kind of negotiate these two interests between photography, which is about, very often it's about images, but I guess I wasn't that interested in making my own images, or I saw the images that I made as just the same as appropriate images. And that might be something in my generation, like there was, I don't know if this is true, but I think I wrote something about this in, in, in that essay, um, that there was a generation in the 80s that used photography and appropriate images in say like a critical sense. And um, I think that they, they definitely played off of the contrast between things that they found and just re-photographed or re screened and thing as opposed to like a painter or a drawer or a sculptor who makes stuff. I think those distinctions have become blurred a lot and it's in the show a lot. And in my generation where where we don't have necessarily this the media savvy of the current generation, but we definitely have a kind of relationship to imagery that um, the, the, the authorial became less interesting or less important. That things that like collages or things pinned up around our studios or houses seem just as like important as things we made ourselves. Uh, so this work that's in this show is probably a little less about drawing and more about uh, kind of operations that are photographic. And there's certain operations, like mediums have their own kind of rules, and there's certain ones about, there's they're sort of like givens with that, you know, like in sculpture, there's always like the pedestal or no pedestal. What does it mean to be on the floor? What does it mean to be on a pedestal? In painting, you know, you're having these push-pull relationships, relationships to the, to the edge of the frame. They're just sort of givens with each one. And in photography, there's sort of givens, like they're inherited by the medium of, like um, inverse, the, the negative in a traditional photographic process, there's always a negative. And that thing is hidden, but it always is there. So the inverse thing is something that's in this work, it's in Sarah Vanderbeck, 
to, to my work here. It's just something that when you want to take an image and defamiliarize yourself and bring it back to where it started, there's like, at one point there was always a negative. But in this particular, in this particular drawing, this is a photograph of the drawing. So what I did here was I found, found I, have a, I had a book that had like images of types of people, like different expressions, which relates a little to Max's work in the other room. Um, so it had like all these different expressions of different, like old people doing expressions and there were some like kids. I photographed that and then I drew it. I mean, I, I use a photograph to draw, usually a slide. So there's, there's a film involved there and I project onto a piece of paper and I drew it. Then I photographed the drawing and I inverted the tonalities and printed it out at a one-to-one -one scale. I don't know, like properties of photography that are investigated by a number of artists in the show and things about, um, I think, mirroring, flipping, um, tonal inversions, which come from the, the negative, the idea of the negative. And these are things that, if you, if you play with Photoshop, the tools that are in Photoshop, like gradient filters or invert, are things that come from the dark room. And so I use Photoshop a lot, but I, used, I try to use just the tools, like I'll use gradient tools to create images, because those come out of using a, a cardboard or a, a, a piece of photosensitive paper, and you can create a gradient that way. In this one, I, I use the, the scanner a lot as a camera, as a way to like capture, capture images. Um, I, I've been cracking eggs on the scanner lately. But I've been doing this like, I don't know, everyone does it because that's what you're doing when you're an appropriation artist. Like you used to use a camera and I used to use a scanner. So just the, the scanner just becomes a natural thing to capture things in the world. So this was like, I took the power cord that was under and I was like, oh, I should. Sometimes I do these things in the studio that are, that, that are intentionally rather dumb to kind of reveal the process. So like photographing the ends of the pencils and then drawing as a drawing of the pencils. Or like scanning the power cord that's underneath the desk. And that's, you know, in a sense like taking a picture of the technology itself or like making a work without having to refer too much outside of it. Photography becomes like a tool, just something else like a paintbrush or um, <clears throat> just any kind of it really becomes, instead of the medium of photography, images become like a medium, if that makes sense. So like the movement and the, the, the ability to play within images is pretty, is pretty sort of fundamental to a lot of artists in this show.